What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got something a little bit annoying that kind of gets my nerves, but I'll be showing you how to fix it. Basically, I downloaded NiceHash Miner the other day just to give it a try and teach a friend how to mine, and one of the notifications I got in the app was this, NVIDIA DCH driver is detected. Detected drivers are not recommended for mining with NiceHash Miner, please change them for optimal performance. What is DCH? Well, it's basically the Windows App Store version of the NVIDIA drivers that come with Windows nowadays. As far as I understand, they're not really as high performance as the normal standard drivers. However, if you head across to NVIDIA's website after searching for, say, download NVIDIA driver, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. You simply punch in your details, and after selecting the correct graphics card, the only options you'll have are the Game Ready driver and the Studio driver. And if I search for it, I only get one download. This version over here is the DCH version. I'm not sure if they say anywhere. No, they don't. And there's no other option. You're stuck with the DCH version of the NVIDIA driver. What is DCH? Well, Microsoft DCH is the declarative componentized hardware supported apps drivers, which are on the universal Windows 10 driver package. So how exactly do we download the non-DCH version of the NVIDIA drivers? Well, it's pretty simple. It's actually just another link that you need to go to that's not nvidia.com slash download. Instead, it's nvidia.com slash download slash find. Upon doing this, you'll see that you get the same three dropdowns as you do on the previous page and a couple of the same ones on the right. However, you have the Windows driver type option where you can choose between standard and DCH. So of course, I'll search for DCH Windows 10 64-bit and you'll see all the versions over here, including 466.47. If I change to standard, search again, you'll see once again, 466.47. All of these are basically exactly the same. All that you have to do to download the correct driver is go ahead and open up one of these in a new tab, and then simply click download and download once again. Then the download will obviously begin. Are these any different? Well, I quickly changed to the DCH version and opened the same exact one, 466.47, in a new tab, and you'll see that the standard one is 643 megs, while the DCH version is 672. There is a difference between these two, even though they're basically the exact same driver. This link will be in the description down below, and you know exactly where to go to download the correct driver. Now, something a bit weird is that when I installed the driver and even clean installed it afterwards, nothing happened. I'm still getting this error over here, suggesting that it's probably still using the older outdated DCH drivers. Something we should do from here is either restart our PC and see if the error has vanished. Otherwise, you'll need to go ahead and download something like Display Driver Uninstaller to completely uninstall your existing NVIDIA drivers and reinstall the fresh ones from scratch. Now, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to record my screen while I'm in Windows Safe Mode, which is something you'll need to do here. Basically, in the description down below, you'll find a link to that forum software. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom, pick a download location, and then wait for the zip to download. After the zip downloads, open it up, extract the exe inside of it onto a place like your desktop, as you will need to access it after rebooting your computer. Open it up and extract to wherever it is, your desktop, extract, and you should see a new folder appears. Inside of this folder, you'll have a bunch of files, and what we're interested in is the display driver uninstaller. After running it and giving it administrator, you'll see something like this. DDU closed programs known to interfere like MSI Afterburner and RTSS. Of course, if you don't have that kind of software running, it won't be closed. Simply click OK and you'll be presented with this. All we have to do here is basically leave everything as is. Just make sure that DCH driver remove the NVIDIA control panel installed from the Microsoft Store is also checked. After doing this, click Close and you'll see this. DDU has detected that you are not in safe mode. So what you need to do from here is reboot your computer into safe mode. Then simply run the software again, and when it pops up again, if you see any of those same tick boxes or notification windows, simply follow through exactly how I did it a couple of seconds ago. Then all you have to do is click clean and restart after selecting your device type on the right hand side, which for me will be GPU NVIDIA. Simply clicking clean and restart would be preferable, of course, when you're running Windows safe mode, first of all. So how exactly do we get to Windows safe mode? And I'm not too sure if I'll be able to record there. Well, it's pretty simple. Press start, type in MS config, one word, and then open up system configuration. Inside of here, head across to the boot tab, and then look at the very bottom here. Tick safe boot and leave it as minimal or network. Minimal is probably preferable here as we already have the other driver downloaded. 
In fact, I'm even going to move it out of my downloads folder and place it on my desktop just for ease of access. Here we go, 466.47, and it doesn't have DCH in the title. I'll drop it next to the DDU folder as I'll be referring to it when I'm in safe mode. Cool, so now I have safe mode checked, minimal. I'll hit apply, okay. And when I restart my computer, I'll be booted into safe mode where I'll run DDU, clean uninstall the NVIDIA software. And of course, when it reboots my computer fully, I'll run the NVIDIA installer here. Then I'll open up MS config once again and uncheck safe mode. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm not too sure if I'll be able to record. And there we go, after restarting our computer, this time if I fire up something like NiceHash or I simply look at the drivers, you'll notice that I'm suddenly running the non-DCH version. Now, why exactly normally installing the non-DCH version didn't work properly, doing a clean uninstall should probably be better and preferable anyways. There we go. In the notifications tab, you can see I don't have that error anymore. That is exactly what I was hoping for, and that just confirms to me that I'm no longer running the DCH version of the NVIDIA drivers. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.